everybody. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. Been talking to some people the last couple days, and uh, they said words to the effect of, you know, I would love to do what you're doing, but I can't afford to do it. Uh, can't afford to buy land, put a house on it. That's not true. I'm talking to those of you who have a job, okay? If you have a job, let's say a full-time job, and that is most of you. Most of you listening to this have a full-time job. If you don't, I'm not talking to you. Uh, you might still be able to pick up some nuggets here and there. But most of you have a full-time job. And therefore, if you have a full-time job, you can do what I'm doing. Um, buying land. Land costs money, right? How are you going to do that? Well, first thing is, I don't have any money. At the end of the month, you know, I, I pay all my bills. I got nothing left. That's the first thing you have to do is get some money. And that's why I said if you if you have a full-time job, I'm talking to you. Uh, you can accrue money. Uh, Dave Ramsey, I used to listen to him on the radio. He has a lot of good advice. And uh, one of the things he says, and I'm paraphrasing him, is that your, your biggest uh, wealth generator is your income, right? It, it's not really a matter of how much you make. It's a matter of how much you spend. And so you need to stop spending money and start saving the money you make. Uh, example. Uh, this is all painful for people, but it's true. You have a TV. You're paying some kind of cable bill or satellite bill or something. Most of you, you know, I, I love it when I do stuff like this. I don't have a TV. Okay, well, then I'm not talking to you. Um, but most of you have a TV, and you're paying cable bills and stuff like that. Get rid of it. Uh, you have internet service, right? That's costing you a chunk of change. You don't need it. Uh, I'm not paying for internet service. I use Wi-Fi hotspots to watch videos and to upload videos. Um, so you don't need that. There's money right there you can save. Eating out. You should never eat out if you're trying to save money, ever. Uh, make sandwiches, drink water that you bring from home. Don't buy bottled water, don't buy a candy bar, don't buy ice cream, uh, don't buy a Big Mac, don't go out and buy a fish dinner, don't eat out. You can buy so much more food uh, if you just spend that money directly for food instead of for eating out at some kind of restaurant or something. So that's a way to save money. Are you making car payments? Why? <laughs> Don't do that. And I haven't made a car payment since like 92, I think, 1992. Buy a used car. Buy it with cash. You know, you could buy a beater for uh, $800 that would work. Uh, keep saving your money that you normally make in the car payments and after you know about six months sell your beater for the same amount of money again I got this idea from Dave Ramsey but he's right because it works and then take the money you save to buy a better car and just keep upgrading that way pay yourself but don't pay car payments that's ridiculous so if you're making car payments get rid of those cars and uh, you know buy a used car for cash never finance a used car um, Pets, you know, a lot of people who are hurting for money have pets. Uh, sorry, uh, you're more important than your animal. Uh, give your pets to a loving home and quit buying them food and vet bills. Um, I'm just telling you ideas to save money because maybe you don't see them. Don't go out, you know, don't go dancing or going to the movies or whatever it is you spend money on entertainment. Just don't do it. Start reading books. Um, clothes. You have enough clothes. Don't buy any more clothes. You, know, you have enough clothes. You don't need anything else. Don't buy anything else. Just stop consuming. And you'd be amazed at how much it doesn't cost. Uh, you could do things with your heat. Turn your heat down and wear a sweater. You know, I keep our house uh, in Kansas when we live there, and it gets cold in Kansas. Uh, we'd keep it set in the wintertime at 65 degrees. 65. At night, I'd turn it down to 55. That's how high we heated our house. In the summer, we cooled it, because I had air conditioning, we cooled it to 80 degrees. That's it. Do that, save on your utility bills, stuff like that. Um, look for ways not to spend money instead of ways to spend money. Uh, carpool, you know, whatever. Uh, but start collecting some money. And then go buy you a piece of land. Now, land in the Ozarks is running around a thousand dollars to three thousand dollars an acre okay um, you, you have to look around you know unitedcountry.com is a place to start 
um, and you can kind of get a feel for prices. And, you know, you could buy five or ten acres. Um, well, you'd have to have, you know, probably almost half of that much money down, and then you could finance the rest um, and, and pay for it. Um, or you could just save up all the cash and buy it. But um, you could also go in with a couple other people who think like you do. You know, get in with your three best buddies who all think it would be a cool thing to do, and you all start living frugally, you all start working together, you all pool your money, and then you all buy the land. Um, and then you have a piece of land, and now it's time to put a structure on it. Well, how do you do that? You know, house cost, I don't know, what's a house cost? $100,000, $80,000, $50,000, you know, I don't know. Um, now, you can build your own house. You know, I, I knew nothing about construction about six years ago and I built a chicken coop and then I built an addition on my barn and then I did this and I did that now I'm building a house I don't know how to build a house uh, I know how to read books I know how to talk to people who know how to do things I know how to listen and uh, so I'm building a house you can do that if you build it yourself it's a whole lot cheaper than if you pay somebody else to do it and here's the other thing man you can build a house you know if you're smart enough and this is not an ego on me, but you know, if you could follow my train of thought in my videos, if you're smart enough to do that, which granted doesn't take a rocket scientist, uh, you can build a house. You know, it, it's not that hard. The people who build houses, uh, they're skilled. Some of them, some of them aren't. Some of them are day laborers. Who, uh, woo, I bet some of these people, um, you could do it. Be slower. You know, you'll be slower than they will. You may make a couple mistakes. Uh, but you'll save a ton of money. And so you just have to do it. Here's the other thing. How much house do you need? Ask yourself that. You know, you don't need probably a house the size of the house you're living in now. So ask yourself, what do you really need in a house? I was just talking to somebody about that this uh, the other day. It's like, you know, I want a bedroom that's big enough to get out of both sides of the bed. Uh, it's big enough for me and my wife to both get changed simultaneously and uh, big enough to store my clothes, right? That, that's how big my bedroom needs to be. Uh, I want a bathroom. I want a living room, you know, where I can sit down and talk to you in, in the living room. And I want a kitchen big enough to prepare simple meals. Uh, and you know, that's about it. That's really all you need in a house. You know, there are plenty of people who, who uh, settled this country, you know, politically incorrect term. The Indians are already here, but you know, the white folk and black folk and Hispanic folk uh, who came across this country uh, who lived in very small houses, you know, raise a family in a 10 by 10 cabin. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. You know, uh, guys living up in Alaska in a little, little cabin. Hey, you can do it. And what you could do is build your small structure first and then as money and time allow, add on to it. If you build it the first place, in the first place, with a mind towards I'm going to open this up and expand on it, it'll make it even easier to do. And so you can do that. You can do something like I did where you buy the trailer, uh, you know, the camper trailer, uh, for two or three hundred dollars. Um, what do you need? You know, I have friends who buy camper trailers for $50,000. I'm not going to spend that much money on my house. Um, whatever. Um, what do you want? If you want the luxuries of life, if you want all the uh, shiny things, uh, you know, you want to order Ethiopian food delivered to your house, okay, you can have that. But you're not going to be living like I live unless you make a whole lot of money. You know, you're not going to be able to have that also. It, but if you want to do what I'm doing or what people like me are doing, if you want to get away from it all, get out from the rat race and go, start saving your money, then take action. Buy some land, get on it, and erect a structure and start living in it. It doesn't need to be gorgeous. You're not keeping up with the Joneses, right? You're trying to provide basic shelter for your family. I think there's a time coming when you will be glad for the sacrifices you made in purchasing or acquiring that land and putting a structure on it in which you can live and preferably with other people of like mind. Uh, if there's a will, there's a way. If you want to do it, you can do it. It's, it's just really how much do you want to do it and how much are you willing to give up. All right, maybe I'll see you out there.